and get your kiss on. Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Friday night, day before homecoming. I'm just getting ready, kind of seeing what I look like in my homecoming outfit. I think I look pretty saucy, let me know. But like, as I was doing my hair and stuff, I always put it down. And when I was putting my hair up, I realized something. I think I have a receding hairline. My quesadillas, this is a problem. Receding hairlines are like the go-to diss if you're roasting a guy in 2017. And the fact that I'm a YouTuber with an audience of mostly females, which, let's not lie here, wouldn't subscribe to me if I looked like Steve Buscemi. Now I'm actually gonna have to be talented to be successful. I thought I could take the easy way out, the Kim K route. This is not good, folks. It's not a big deal, Kate. You still look spicy, don't worry about you know what, Kate? You right, you right. Sometimes I gotta give myself some words of encouragement. I'm like my own support group. And let's look at the positives here. If you're losing hair, that just means you got hella testosterone. So basically, I'm manly af. There's a stereotype that Asian men are feminine, but I'm breaking that shit. I'm gonna just be the Asian swoozy and shave my head when I'm this age. You know what, though? In the end, I look good. I'll be saucing at homecoming tomorrow. Me and CC gonna stun on everyone. Alright, quesadillas, it's the next day. Homecoming is tonight, and I don't really know what I'm gonna do until then. The plan for tonight is at 5, I'm going to CC's house, meet up with the group, go take some saucy pictures, go eat some sushi, then go to homecoming. And then Cece's throwing a party at her house after, so that should be fun. By the way, I never explained this, but Cece's my homecoming date. She's just like the hottest, coolest, most popular girl in the school, and she asked me over the summer, so. No, I'm not saying it's a big deal to be asked to homecoming by Cece. But it's a big deal to be asked homecoming by Cece. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's the plan. Should be fun. I also know I have a lot of international students. Not students. Am I a teacher now? I also know I have a lot of international viewers who might not know what homecoming is, so let me break it down for you. So homecoming is a dance that happens because of a football game. No, it's a football game and then a dance that happens for some reason. How do you explain homecoming? Like, what's the point of it? Okay, I don't know the point of it, but generally, basically, it's a whole week of just like school spirit and everyone's like in happy fun time mode. There's just lots of like school activities and events going on. And then to finish it off on the Friday night, usually there's a football game. And then the next night there's the homecoming dance. I didn't go to the football game because I'm lazy and I'm on that YouTube grind, but I cannot miss the dance. I'm a dancer. I love it. When I hear the letters D-A-N-C-E, I gotta be a part of it. This week has been pretty fun, though. There was a dance party yesterday at lunch, and I danced in a little circle. I actually got a clip of it. Let me show you guys. Oh, wait, hold up. Wrong way. I got about six hours till I gotta get ready, so uh, what should we do till then? By the way, I got this nice watch. CC wanted me to get it for homecoming, so I was like, all right, you gotta keep the ladies happy. By the way, if you're wondering what I'm wearing, I'm wearing a uh, West African nightgown. Look at that leg. Mm. All right, I've never really done this before, but I could uh, read some comments right now. That might be kind of fun for a little segment in this video. All right, I'm gonna be reading comments for the I Became a K-Pop Star in a Day video. I'm gonna just read some of the top comments first and then some of the newer ones. Holy fuck, you actually look so good i'm i'm what you're what what's going on you didn't finish your sentence this gonna be funny see i appreciate the fans who just expect greatness from me they expect top quality humor from this channel damn i love all your little twists to the dances yeah i had to learn all those dances in the video in like a day and when i do like dance choreographies i always like to add my own flavor so yeah i do that in like every choreography i do i'm just happy that k finally cut his hair after years yeah it's been like a a long time since I cut my hair. The last time I cut my hair before this time was actually in a video I made with my German exchange student friend and my Korean exchange student friend. Go check it out. I'll put it in the description or something. It's pretty funny, honestly. You look like Mangyu. Thank you. I hope Mangyu is pretty hot. Damn it, I like the long hair. You know the main thing that sucks about being like a social influencer, a YouTuber, or just in general like an online entertainer? It's actually impossible to satisfy everyone. I agree with you. I miss my long hair. Like, I wish I could have kept growing it out and I wouldn't have cut it if it wasn't for this video but like before I cut my hair like when I did have long hair I'd always get DMs like replying to my stories and stuff OMG cut your hair people were getting aggressive about it most people just really don't like long hair on guys it sucks but that's just how it is and then when I cut it you know there's people who who miss the long hair so it's just like I can't satisfy everyone so I'm sorry I cut it but I do agree with you like I do miss my long hair and to everyone that was aggressively telling me to cut my hair when I did have long hair that is technically body shaming and that's not appreciated here I love your way of dancing, especially dope. It was dope, you know. 
You know me. You know me. This is such an unnecessary video. You're such a <laughs> hypocrite. Someone's a little flustered. It's okay. I used to think of everything very negatively. There's a bright side. You'll see it one day. You don't always have to be mad. You don't always have to be in the darkness. You can be happy. I believe in you. Oh my <laughs> god. Kay, what happened? You look like an alien now. My mom actually says I look like a suika. Forget everything, the funny part is why does he know all these songs? He is too much. See, I'm not stupid. I know my fan base is a lot of K-pop fans. So I did research for this video, just for you guys. Are you proud of me? Huh? Huh? Do you? Do you? Do you? You just look dumb. <laughs> Literally, really enjoyed this video. I subscribed. You have such an awesome personality. I love you guys. I like nice comments and stuff, but like, these are like the extra nice comments. These are like the spicy nice comments, like the nicey comments. I really love these kind of comments, so I always give it a reply. 402, I'm, I'm what? Finish your sentence. All right, well, anyway, I got a couple hours till homecoming. I actually gotta go get some glasses first, though, because the glasses I was wearing last night is actually my friend's glasses that he left at my house, and I thought maybe I could just wear it to homecoming, even though they're prescription glasses, <laughs> but <laughs> going blind to stun on everyone at homecoming, I think that's worth it. So yeah, I gotta go get some glasses. By the way, if you actually liked me reading the comments like let me know i can do that more it's pretty fun all right so i just picked up some glasses from claire's um it's a little bit different but these were the best i could find that were gold so so my homecoming group is literally all girls i guess all the guys like ditched so um that's a vibe she want a vibe that's a vibe yeah that's a vibe, it's a vibe, and that's a vibe, yeah. All right, guys, so I went to the bathroom for a sec because there was some bubble gum on my shoe, and then I went back to the dance floor to try to find Cece, and I literally couldn't get to her because her tiny Vietnamese body was like crowd surfing through the crowd. What happened? I said, you know, like where you can hit like this thing, like the that thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was holding him while we were talking about it. So cool. She was talking <laughs> shit about this guy and accidentally said it as a voice memo. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the party's going on right now. We just had a lot of fun. We did homecoming. We ate sushi. We took pics. You know how it is. Thanks for watching, honestly. I appreciate it. Alright guys, it's the next day. It's like 3 o'clock. I slept pretty much all day. I'm really sorry because I didn't bring my camera. Because I didn't bring my camera, I didn't really film a whole lot. I was just kind of filming some random stuff with my phone. So like, sorry about that. Didn't get much footage of Homecoming. During the actual dance, like, Bodak came on one time and I started like getting lit to that. So I, I danced in a little circle. And then at the end, me and Cece and like the group, we left to Cece's house like kind of early just because like we had to get ready for the party. So we left early, but like as I was leaving, I saw a circle forming. So I was like, you know, I'm joining all that. So I went in and danced. It was pretty fun. Here's a little clip. Roll it. <laughs> dance was fun oh yeah and then we took homecoming pics which turned out pretty crispy so we went back to cc's house through the party a bunch of people came over it was fun and then like oh yeah and then halfway through cc just turned off the music and just start yelling at everyone like hey and i was i, I was kind of freaked out like i've never seen cc just yell like this i thought she was gonna yell at everyone but she just gave this kind of mini speech on senior year and like that we're seniors and like let's have fun kind of thing i don't know it was a good motivational touching speech i recorded like the last second of it roll it <laughs> And then we all fell asleep at like 5-ish, I don't know, but overall, it was a good homecoming night. I enjoyed it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Didn't get much of homecoming, but like still, I hope it was enough to satisfy you guys. Because that's what I'm all about. I'm all about satisfying my viewers. I'm a good YouTuber like that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in the next one. By the way, I wasn't wearing socks at homecoming, so I was just like dressing in, in like my dress shoes. And like while I was dancing, like my foot got like all scratched up i look at my foot i don't even know it's just all cut up ow boy that's a mole <laughs>
Like a monster.